so I cooked this pork at the the other day and it's really rich it's, it was really good so good that it has leftovers sitting in the refrigerator right now so for tonight I want to eat it in a different way I want to see what I can do or what we can do to take it a, a notch up or down whatever as long as we stir those creative juices so I was planning is I'll use a bit of technique I'll borrow a bit of technique from aglio e olio which is to saute the garlic very slowly until it turns brown really slowly and to distribute the richness of the adobo we'll be using or borrowing a technique from carbonara which is emulsification using eggs with a bit of help from cheese so let's start yeah <coughs> Slice the garlic thin, keep it as uniform as possible into flakes. Get your leftover adobo. Try to slice them. Now the obvious way to make uh, adobo pasta is to make adobo flakes. And I don't wanna I don't want that. I don't wanna do that. So what's emulsification? It's the binding of uh, eggs, fat, and water. Well, in this case, at least, it's eggs, fat, and water. So for water, we'll use pasta water. This is what we need. The leftover adobo, some garlic uh, slices, parmesan cheese, pasta of course. This is for garnish. So let's crack the eggs, let's make the sauce base. And an extra egg yolk. extra creaminess let's start the pasta so for our sauce we break uh, two eggs and one additional egg yolk for extra creaminess so we're just breaking the yolk we're gonna use uh, one to two tablespoon of parmesan cheese Set that aside. So we're cooking now. We'll turn on our heat. Keep it low. Put oil. You don't actually want to hear the pan sizzle when you put the garlic on. And that's what you want. You want to cook this really slow. Now 
I'm tilting the pan so I can gather everything there. And more controlled space. Again, it's not too wild. We want to brown this really slow. And spread it around. Now, why do I want to do this slow? Uh, it gives the oil more time uh, to get as much garlic flavor and aroma as possible. It's more forgiving to the garlic because garlic tends to burn easy. That's why it's also important to slice them same size as, as, as you can so everything would uh, cook at the same time. We're near the target. Turning it off, but let it continue to brown further. Nothing burnt, just golden. And we'll set this aside for later. Turn on the pasta. We'll cook the pasta right now as soon as that thing boils. So the pasta water, I want to talk about the pasta water. Uh, the water where, where I'll cook the pasta, I don't I didn't put any oil because we'll pick we'll finish the pasta in the sauce. So it's just salt, salt and water. So the water is boiling now. I'll use like 200 grams of spaghetti. Again, this is very low heat. Now the goal with the pasta with the spaghetti is to not cook it until al dente. We'll just soften it a bit and then finish it to al dente in the sauce. Again, no oil on the pasta water. What exactly are we doing with the adobo? Uh, we're drying it up. The sauce of it, we're drying it up to let it stick more to the meat. Now, you can deglaze this if you have any white wine, but let's not use wine right now. I want to make this as simple as possible. Plus, we're rendering uh, some of the fat from the pork, which has already been adobo. I think this is going to be really good. So we're turning this off. Smells really good right now. Spaghetti usually takes around uh, eight minutes to cook to al dente. But again, we're not cooking this throughout. What I'm doing is I'm stirring it so that it doesn't stick to one another. So we tend to be more clean than an X. <laughs> this is 200 grams of raw spaghetti. Because you know, I live alone. So if you want food and you want to join me, <laughs> I'm inviting you to my house. So turn this off. Turn this on, no heat again. And we'll transfer the pasta straight to here. And we get some of that beautiful pasta water. Still low heat. We'll get some of the pasta water. I got the pasta water. I'm using pasta water so I could scrape off all the funds at the bottom. Funds are those brown stuff that sticks to the bottom of the pan. That's flavor right there. So it's still a bit stiff, right? finish it here now 
adding pasta water depends on where your pasta is right now and I'm really far far from al dente a few more minutes it's still very adobo at this point it's it's really good it's still good Silky, very silky. Boy, oh, this is good now. So we'll turn it off. Now we're letting the pan uh, cool off a bit. Why? Because we'll be adding eggs. And if it's if it's too hot, then the eggs would uh, scramble. And we don't want that. We just want to emulsify everything. We have our pasta, it's still very warm. Now finish this and make this into something beyond. Now the heat from the pasta itself and the remaining heat from the pan will cook the egg and make it creamy. Oh, look at how rich that is. Look at how creamy everything is. That, my friends, is the magic of emulsification. Oh my god, this is really good. Now we're finishing it. Do Bonara. Oh yeah, before I forget, uh like, subscribe, and uh, turn on that notification bell to get more leftover makeover dishes. And uh, see you next time. This is really rich. This is good. <laughs>